because I'm like always on this couch. So this is the only couch that we have. I do not currently have any other couch. <laughs> it's a long story, but anyways. So I'm gonna make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna make some banana pancakes. I think I'm gonna tweak the recipe a little bit. Um, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I am like craving the banana pancakes and have this idea of putting cottage cheese in them. But I'm not gonna tell Brian. My family has this recipe, we call it Swedish pancakes, but it's not like the Swedish pancakes that you would get at like IHOP. It's like, they're just different. They're not as thin. They're still like kind of thicker. But they have like cottage cheese and sour cream in them, which sounds weird, but they're so good. I'm not gonna make those exactly because I don't have the sour cream and like, calls for like a lot of eggs, but I'm gonna do like banana, eggs, cottage cheese, vanilla cinnamon and like just a little flour and see we'll see how they turn out on another note i think we need to get canyon's haircut and i'm like really emotional about it because you know it's his hair it is like the best hair um i'm not gonna cut off a lot but it's like starting to get into his eyes and it's like really long past his ears and it just looks haggard and it's getting so long that instead of standing up, it's like falling down and it's just not as cute. Like he just looks a little crazy. Sometimes I can try to like get it wet and like style it just like stick up and it, and it looks cute, but I don't know. I think it's time for a little trim. I think I'm gonna look up a place. Hopefully I can find somewhere that's open that I can take him today. Because Brian also needs to get his hair cut, so I think we'll just do like a family outing with like both haircuts. And yeah, I don't know what else we're going to do today. But you know, we always just see where the day takes us. And then that's where you come as well. <laughs> I don't always like plan out my vlogs that well. But maybe I should plan a specific thing to vlog. I just kind of like take you guys around in our chaotic random 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 life um yeah okay i'm starving let's make some breakfast <music> think of the pancakes, babe? Do you like them? Very good. Maybe the best ones ever. The best ones ever? So I'm writing more. There's a sec secret ingredient. I can make another uh -oh. batch. I don't want to know the secret ingredient. Then I might not like it. All right. I won't tell you. Now I know there's a secret ingredient, so I unfortunately... <laughs> what? You said they're the best ones <laughs> ever. I don't know the secret ingredient. They might be the best ones ever. They're good. Cancel the last recipe that I posted <laughs> on these, a different version. Upgrade it to this recipe. This recipe is always evolving. So good. Canyon is awake from his nap. I just got ready a little bit, threw on a little bit of makeup, and um, I'm gonna feed him one of those pancakes that I made. He's had like most of the ingredients that go in the pancakes before so I don't know but he hasn't I don't think he's really had eggs and there are eggs in there so that'll kind of be new for him you ready to try pancakes bud? Hello sweeties. Hi uh, dad. Chicky gonna have a pancake dad? A pancake? You gonna have a pancake Chicky? Chicky Chicky. Look, it's Chicken and Daddy in the camera. Alright, here's the pancake. I'm just gonna cut it like 
this. That's what they say to do. Look at this smart boy. I bet he eats it right away. Here. Hold it like this. There you go. Good job, Jake. The usual face with the new food. <laughs> what do you think? Is that you? Yeah. That is a huge piece. Oh, it makes me nervous. Is there more? Oh my gosh. Okay, chew it! <laughs> I have never seen him devour something yeah. like so much. They're good pancakes. You love them? You're doing so good, buddy. I'm so proud of you. You've really come a long way. It was after my chewing lesson he really got things going. Yeah. It's really it's really helpful for him to like see how we do it. Not like that. I know. Are you getting mad at the pancakes? All right. We are off for his first haircut. Look at this. It's so long. You can see Brian in the background putting. <laughs> Our living room has turned into a putting area. Just wearing a big t-shirt. And then I got these Reeboks. I found these at Nordstrom Rack for like over half off the normal price, I think. I, I don't think it was a fluke. I don't know how they were there. But they're so cute. I'll link them down below if I can find them. Okay, Canyon, stop pulling my hair. He's the best. <laughs> That's all I can say. Okay, let's go, babe. Ready? Yeah. Brian's gonna get his haircut too. Boys' haircut day. Brian needs a haircut so bad that it's affecting his personality. Yeah, what did you say? <laughs> when he starts to look haggard, he starts to act haggard. <laughs> and it's so true. You even agree with me, don't you? Kind of. So I'm hoping this will reverse the process. You're, you're gonna be feeling so good after this. Can you please put your seatbelt on? Well, I'm trying to fig do your job to fi figure out where to go. I don't have, you but you don't my do job. that. I got the baby in the car. Yeah, he's a lot of work right now. He is. I don't even know which place that you made the appointment at, so that's why you have to put it in the phone. I'm bringing this bumbo seat because I don't know if they have a kid's seat here. I don't really want to have to hold him the whole time because I want to take videos of it and Brian is also getting his hair cut maybe at the same time. So hopefully this is helpful. Great Clips is getting a free brand deal right now. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> Only place open on Sundays. Give an honest review of the haircut, not sponsored. <laughs> it's really 50 50 at Great Clips. Like half the time, you get someone who just does not care, and you might just get weed whacked. You come out of there looking like. 50 went, 50. You went to a gardening shop, we not don't a haircut. I have an inspo pick for Canyon, so hopefully it turns out yeah. good. Check out his hair. I just styled it. I like spiked it up a little bit. It looks so cute. We were just looking at the before photo and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Brian literally said, he's like, how did we let it get this bad? <laughs> Which like, he always looked super cute, but when it like is all falling down in his eyes, it looks so funny. It was like long overdue. Um, but anyways, Canyon and I are just gonna go get a little Starbucks. Um, he just took a nap and we did like our morning stuff and now we're gonna get out of the house for a little bit because we go crazy if we don't get out of the house. I, sh I find it like very helpful to just have like one thing to go do. <laughs> kind of like helps the middle of the day go by. I like doing something between his morning nap and his afternoon nap. Otherwise we just go a little stir crazy. So 
I'm just gonna get out of the house. I'm gonna get a little pick-me-up, little coffee, and that's pretty much it. Drop some stuff off to return to Amazon and come home. Let's go to Starbucks, bud. <laughs> you excited? Okay, I'm back home. Finishing my coffee on the couch, the couch that I'm always on. <laughs> um, I just got Canyon down for a little nap, which I'm really glad that he went to sleep because, so it's like three o'clock now. I usually try to get him down for his second nap at two, but he wouldn't be tired at two because he took his first nap late. So I was like really hoping, you know, it'd be like somewhat close to two. You know, because he's definitely not going to make it to seven. Um, so it's kind of perfect. Um, so let him sleep for a bit. I'm going to like do some work on the computer. Um, yeah, just have like emailing and editing and some things to get done. Midday slump. This coffee needs to work harder and faster. I got a grande ice latte with almond milk and cinnamon powder. I always love to add cinnamon to things. Cinnamon is the hack, you guys, for wanting flavor with no sugar. I just feel like it, because I associate like cinnamon sugar being sweet, when I taste the cinnamon, I automatically think that it's sweeter. But there's no sugar in cinnamon, I don't think. Um, I add cinnamon to everything. I add cinnamon to my matcha. I add cinnamon to my pancakes. I add cinnamon to my coffee. So that, that is the real hack. I have not been getting sugar in my coffee for years, except for when I was pregnant. Do you guys remember when I was addicted to peppermint mochas? <laughs> I'm pretty sure in like postpartum too, I still wanted them. I craved a lot of sugar at the very end of my pregnancy and then like postpartum I I crave sugar like crazy. I did read that that's because you're so low energy from like sleep deprivation plus making milk that your brain is just like, oh, sugar is like the quickest form of energy. So I just had like a huge sweet tooth postpartum. I just remembered that. It's funny how you get like flashbacks of like every, and I feel like I have to bring it up every time. Like I went somewhere with Brian yesterday. Oh yeah, after the haircut, we went in got donuts um, next door, like the mochi nut donuts. And I was like, oh yeah, last time I came here, I think I was pregnant. Like you just, ev everything reminds you if you did it when you were pregnant or whatever, you just like think of it. Um, I, I just feel like I'm constantly being like, when I was pregnant, when I was pregnant, I, am I gonna say that for the rest of my life? Or is it just because it was just last year? I don't know. I feel like, a lot of women constantly talk about their pregnancy or their birth or their newborn phase because it's just like there's so much emotion attached to it and it's like so impactful and it just like lives it's like such a huge thing I don't know just always in the front of my mind right now um yeah that was just kind of a side story that was random <laughs> but yeah I was addicted to the peppermint mochas um because I was pregnant during winter and then I drank them like all the way, it was like getting warm out and I was like, mm, I stole the peppermint mocha. <laughs> they were like, it was like not advertised on the menu because holiday was like over and I'm like, do you still have the peppermint syrup? <laughs> They're like, yeah. But other than that, I do not get any sugar. After that phase was over, I was like, I gotta cut it out. Like this is getting insane. I do not get sugar in my coffee and in the mornings at home I just drink it black which I've shared already because I do like the intermittent fasting when I go to Starbucks I don't know if I could do Starbucks coffee black I just feel like it's a little harsh on my tum for that so yeah I always get almond milk I do like oat milk but I've heard that oat milk can be not that great for you in terms of like your hormones don't quote me like the oats like you don't want to have too much oats in your diet um something affecting estrogen so you can look that up yourself but i'm just like even though oat milk is creamier i'm just sticking with the almond okay i'm gonna get a little work done and we'll catch up with ya in a bit 
Look who's awake from his nap. A 30 minute nap. That's actually kind of good though, because like I said, I didn't want him to sleep too late. delivered and I'm like great something to do but kind of embarrassingly I do not remember what I ordered and was 100% sober have not even been drinking or anything in so long but I like for sure was tired and I was like I want to order some stuff because we're gonna be going out of town soon and so I was like oh I want some things to wear I ordered from a couple different sites. I do not remember what I ordered from Paxa. <laughs> so it's kind of a surprise for both of us and I don't even know if this is going to be cute because like I don't even know if I was in my right mind when I was ordering it. Can you? Can you? Guys, you know the bingo song? So we changed it to can you? <laughs> There was a mama had a boy and Kanyo was his name. Oh, C A N Y O, C A N Y O. He loves it. He usually gets so excited, and then we started calling him Kanyo, which is like the dorkiest nickname ever. But this is our Kanyo boy. Oh, Kanyo. Okay, mommy's gonna open a package. Okay, you can help me. Okay. A little sweater. Oh yeah, I was feeling the fall vibes. All right. This is kind of cute. I do like it. It's the uh, Kendall and Kylie. It's really soft. Pretty sure it was on major yeah. sale because it's probably from like last winter or something. But um, if it's still available, I will link it for you. It's pretty heavy actually. It's very warm. Apparently I only got two things, so <laughs> not too bad. I got a t-shirt. Oh yeah, I got like a um, oversized graphic tee. What does this even say? East Hampton, New York. This is so funny because it's very similar to the shirt I was wearing yesterday, which said like Yale. It's like literally the same kind of like off-white, almost yellow. Like, apparently that is the vibe that I'm in because I just bought that Yale shirt like at Nordstrom Rack. Okay, I'm sorry. We have a fussy one on our hands. I think he's teething. We are hanging out outside. Just waiting for daddy to get home. Yes, yes we are. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's gotta be teething. I mean, I'm trying not to like film him, you know, crying that much, but he's um been a little bit difficult today. Yes, I know. This is what he does to me. Baby, baby boy, baby boy. Where's daddy, huh? Where's daddy? I'm like texting Brian. When are you gonna be home? Mama's at her wit's end today. You know some days where you just kind of like get burnt out where you're like, it was a long day, naps weren't that long, like, you just are kind of ready for bedtime, that's just kind of how I'm feeling today. And I don't know what happened, but like, the house just really fell apart, you know, usually I like try to catch up on like, unloading the dishwasher from the day before and so I can like start loading it throughout the day, but I never unloaded it, so the dishes are just like, piled up, waiting for me for tonight, and I'm like, I just want to do the dishes and like, do a 10 minute tidy and then lay down and watch TV. <laughs> it's just been like non-stop. I know I didn't really film us doing that much. I absolutely love being a mom and I, there's no other way I'd rather spend my days. But you know, at like the end of your day of your job, any job that you have, 
<laughs> come around six o'clock, you're like, okay, I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a good day's work. I also got up at 5.30 today, so I feel like that's why I'm more burnt out, because we had been getting up at like 6.30 or 7 for the last like five days, and it was awesome, and I felt like I had energy like all day, and then today I was up at 5.30, so I'm like 12 hours is kind of my limit. <laughs> 12 hours is plenty long, so I'm ready for bed. He loves when I'm talking. When I talk to the vlog, he like just gets so happy. I talk to him too, but we, don't have, we ran out of stuff to talk about today. <laughs> Hi. Why are you doing this to me? He's obsessed with my face. Mm. I have like little scratches all over my face because he just like attacks me. Okay. Hopefully daddy's home soon. I love you. Kisses? Kisses? Uh, I swear he's like learning kisses. Uh. math from dinner. He was feeding himself the broccoli. I was feeding him purees because he was getting mad at the broccoli. And now we're done. Okay, let's go take a bath. Thankfully daddy's home. Yay! All right, Brian is putting candy into bed. I'm like frantically throwing in a load of laundry because I was just getting Canyon in his PJs and I was like, oh, this is the last onesie that we have and I don't know how this happened. You know what, on Sunday when I did the laundry, I forgot to do the Canyon load. So that's how this happened, but I don't know. I forgot. It's not that we had bought in like so many more onesies. I must have forgot to do his laundry like two times. <laughs> bed. You hear that noise in the background? That is Brian watching Bob Does Sports. I'm gonna watch like some sort of planet earth, animals, I don't know, something that's not very exciting so that I can drift off to sleep. I know like they say that watching TV while you fall asleep is bad but I just like love setting the sleep timer and just listening to <laughs> some British guy <laughs> narrate the animals lives while I fall asleep. I find it so relaxing. Um, but yeah, that's it for my plans. I actually have work tomorrow. Um, I work part time. And so I have to, well, I, have, I would get up at the same time as I always do, but get off to work tomorrow. So honestly, the days that I go to work, are not any harder than the days that I have to stay home with Canyon. Um, because Canyon keeps me very busy, as you guys saw today. I got a little bit burnt out, um, but I love him. I love him so much. I was just staring at him on the monitor. I already miss him since he went to bed. <laughs> uh, every mom says that, but it's so true. And yeah, I have my Invisalign in. I kind of forgot to wear it a lot today, which was bad, but I'm supposed to be wearing it like all the time. So I take it out a lot when I'm on camera because I feel like I talk weird. So if you think I'm talking weird, that's why. All right, guys, that's it for this vlog. Honestly, I don't know what I showed you. Oh yeah, Kenny got his hair cut. That was really fun. And then I was just kind of like a burnt out mom today, but. That's the real life. It's the real deal. Alright, that's all for now. Till next time. Um.